Hello everyone and welcome to our last day of Bronzong Tyrantrum week. Um, we haven't been doing too hot this week. It's been some difficult games. Uh, we're not setting up reliably. Um, not entirely sure why. Um, I don't know. It it feels like we're always just a turn a turn or two behind. Um, our ideal setups or our ideal situations to get into the game but we'll see how we do today in these last two games uh, that's the ninth the eighth game we've gone second so that could also um, have affected I guess our results as we definitely didn't go we didn't go first half the time here yeah, that definitely didn't help our our case for this deck. I'm personally <coughs> discarding this deck 100% until... Wow, that's a really cool art. I'm discarding this deck until I... Until I see or... Or I don't know, until I see it perform differently, or until I see a much better list. Um, I don't know, I just didn't like like it at all. And as we can see, we're actually up against the Mega Mewtwo X, EX, that we used last week. So we probably will be in for a very, very rough match, because Giratina, wow. So our stadium will be pretty important, I guess. Halucha. So Giratina doesn't help us to to prevent Mega Mewtwo X from damaging us. It might also be a combination of Mew of Mega Mewtwo's, but he doesn't, or he probably doesn't run any special energy. So H slash doesn't help us here. We don't have anything that can withstand a hit from Mega Mewtwo. My opponent is just getting rid of all energy and all stadiums. He only has w one potential stadium left. If he flips tails here, no, he flips heads. If he had flipped tails, he would have been in a pretty bad position. And he's running through his deck pretty quickly but hasn't attached that energy yet. I'm guessing he will though. There's the... Oh, he does have mystery energy. Wow. I mean, that still doesn't help our case because Mega Mewtwo X isn't stopped by Aegislash's ability. So, we're definitely in trouble here. He's able to free retreat and he can potentially evolve and do a lot of things next turn. I'm really not liking my position at all here. At all. Now, the 3-3 three, three line is there. Giratina, Hydreigon, Bronzong, Shaman, the other Tyrantrum, which could be important. I'm gonna have to do it KO the the potential Mega Mewtwo X's which I really don't like I know why you would run Halucha if um, checking for Shamans here don't know why you would run Halucha in that deck if you're running Mega Mewtwo X because you already hit for so much damage I'd rather run something to 1KO um, the the mega Pokemon, but hey, he's a, he thinks it's worth it. It does have free retreat, which definitely helps him out. I don't like discarding the DCE or the switch, but I don't have a choice here. In order to get into this game, potentially, I need to start drawing a bit better. Huh. Do I just get the third bronzer out right away? I think I do. Or no, I don't actually. P 
probably should have kept that. Gonna go for Shaman here. I mean, I don't know. My resource management is pretty much non existent in this match because of how much pressure Mega Mewtwo EX puts on us to attack and things like that. If we had gone first, this could potentially have been a different game, but fortunately this is all we can do. The thing is, next turn, yeah, there's an energy, he can potentially Mega Evolve and take a KO on this H Slash. He's Sycamores, so no threat of Lysander. He even has Hex Maniac to stop our Bronze Songs. I mean, I really wouldn't be surprised at all to see him Mega Evolve and Mega Turbo this turn. There's the Mega Evolution onto the Mega Mewtwo. Why does that keep showing up? Onto Mega Mewtwo, the EX, the X version. It's so difficult to pronounce. Mega Mewtwo X EX. He's gone for another trainer's mail, but. Apparently he whiffed? Oh no, he did get the Mega Turbo. So my opponent is in a pretty good position, but he is pretty much overextending himself in order to power up this Mega Mewtwo. Especially with the Stadium discards. I am able to to do damage back with Dragon Impact, but I won't be able to take a KO. And he will be down to two prizes by then. I draw the DCE, but I really don't like my position here. No. I'm gonna have to judge him. Mm. That doesn't really accomplish much, does it? Gonna discard uh, these two, I guess. I need a muscle band and a stadium to potentially get myself in the game. And I really mean a very big if. If at least I flip heads but no stadium. <laughs> I do get the muscle band where I can take a KO with Shaman next turn. I do get a float stone which kind of helps, I guess. But I really wish I had gotten a stadium. I really wish I had gotten the stadium. I'll be down to two prizes next turn. But I do have the potential for the stadium. Basically, I'm relying on him not uh, drawing all his Mega Turbos at once. That's really all I'm relying on. But I don't see myself winning this game, to be honest. I have no strong follow-up after this Tyrantrum. Even gonna hex maniac and wow, I don't have the DCE. Should have used metal links. Wow, <laughs> I'm so bad, guys. Wow, wow, wow. This is absolutely terrible. <sighs> I should have used metal links. I did play the hex maniac, didn't he? Yep. So if I had used Metal Links, I might have a shot, but no. Look at that. Mega Mewtwo X is already on the bench with two energies on it. And yeah, pretty much second bronze song doesn't matter. I'm gonna try, definitely gonna try, but I don't have my hopes up here. Gonna attach this, I'm going to Battle Compressor away anything that's not a DCE <laughs> right now. So this guy, this guy, and this guy. How many DCEs are there? 
both or just one? One. So even one DC is priced, which really sucks. <laughs> even further lowering our chances of winning. I mean, even if I had gotten the the KO, I didn't have high hopes of winning. We don't get it. So I'm just gonna concede here. I guess... Yeah, <laughs> this deck really sucks. And that deck is really good in my opinion. That Mega Mewtwo X is really, really good. Let's find our next match, our last match for this week. I haven't been enjoying this week too much because of how the deck works, uh, how slow it's been, how difficult it's been to use and the fact and combine all of that with the new UI Ugh. not a fan not a big fan it's probably the worst week in the channel <laughs> at least I go first in the last game and watches have like a super perfect uh, dominant game in this one except not really our hand isn't stellar and my opponent is using Mian Shao. No, Crodont. Wow. Crodont and something with Focus Ash. Hmm. So is it something like Lucario uh, Seismic Toad Halucha? Perhaps. Not entirely sure, but since he benched or since he played down three Pokemon, we will probably find out right now. No, it's Lucario Paulucha with um with Cronon support. That's interesting. Now we know he runs Enhanced Hammer, probably more than one, since he has Cronon as well. So we'll have to be careful with our energy attachments. Gonna play the Birch. No need to play our stadium. Uh, thinner, thinning our deck by one card isn't too important right now. But of course we redraw it. <laughs> That's fine. I'm afraid to attach the double dragon energy next turn though. If he plays the stadium, he will do a lot of damage to Tyrantrum though. So I might not even want to attach to the active Tyrantrum. Gosh, 120 damage. Yeah, this deck, I, I believe this deck is too slow. Setting up Bronze Songs is too slow for this meta game right now. Even though standard f looks and feels slow, it's really not. It's all about um, very cost effective uh, attackers. And this deck doesn't really have that in the early game and by the time you're set up your opponent is too far ahead in order for you to catch up in time wow so we're already at a threat <laughs> and I top the cat DCE <laughs> I'm gonna attach the double dragon energy just so I can try to retreat I guess but discarding these two DCEs is probably going to cost us down the line can't believe I top deck another DCE. That's just some. And of course, I don't get anything at all <laughs> from the Sycamore. I really didn't get anything at all off of that Sycamore. And my only draw card next turn is a Judge. <laughs> so this might be a very quick game for my opponent, a very quick win for my opponent gosh, did I really do that terribly in with the list this week? I don't know <sighs> gonna retreat, no point in giving my opponent two free prizes if I want to have a shot in this match so I'm just gonna pass the turn for now. 
Oh, I could have used metal links. I keep forgetting about metal links. I don't think it's gonna matter this mu too much. I guess it could have mattered, but it probably won't. Because off of the judge, I would have needed a floatstone or a switch, and given how we are drawing, <laughs> I definitely didn't have hope. Don't have high hopes for that. There's the core fish. So even more of a threat. He hasn't attached an energy, so we might be safe for a turn. But no, he has the verse seeker. Okay, he's going for Karina. For the professor's letter. Oh, and he doesn't have any other supporter actually. Gets Lucario. Even with Professor's letter, he's not going to KO. If he chooses a muscle band though, wow. He might KO. <laughs> he might have the energy. Do you have the energy? You attach the muscle band, obviously to Lucario. Oh you do have the energy. Uh, no big deal though, no big deal, except <laughs> our only draw card is Judge, which coincidentally doesn't help us too much and helps my opponent a lot in the situation he's in. Ugh, if I had Metal Links, I'm sorry guys, if I had used Metal Links, we would have had the KO on Lucario this turn with the judge. I guess I can wait a turn though to do that. So that's all I'm gonna do for now. We're gonna trade blows next turn. My opponent will be down to three prizes, I will be down to four. Our hope is that he doesn't get a strong energy and he will probably do corkscrew smash which means, oh, he's gonna easy for Shaman. If he corkscrew smashes, we're pretty much toast. With a strong energy. If he doesn't, we might still have a chance to be in this game. Oh, he's not even going to do that. He attaches to the bench Lucario. <sighs> so my opponent is playing a lot more conservative. Wow, if he flips heads here, no. That would have been terrible. That would have been game ending terrible. There's the missile jab. We're gonna reduce our hero opponent's hand by one. Oh no, we aren't. Never mind. But okay, I do get judge. Yep. Judge, I'm gonna get shame in here. At least that top deck definitely helped us. So I'm gonna... No. I am going to attach this metal energy from my hand. I don't want to attach the muscle band just yet. Do I? There's no point in using metal links right now. Before. Okay, I'm gonna attach... No, I'm not gonna attach the muscle band. Because I might need it for something else like Giratina. Can I draw four cards? I hmm. Can I bench a uh, Dragon just because I have KOs on Haluchas with that? <coughs> Do I want to attach the Muscle Band now? I'm going to attach it to Shaman. I'm going to switch for the Tyrantrum. And I'm going to play another Shaman. There's more cards. And wow. <laughs> I am so tempted to just Sycamore right now. But I don't think I should. Gonna Birch. Hopefully I flip heads, but I can't afford to discard all of that. Of course I flip tails. Um, I'm going to get a metal energy attacker out obviously Aegis Slash <laughs> I don't have a choice there at least I can metal links onto it 
and I can Sycamore next turn potentially do I even have a Sycamore? yeah I do so I can Sycamore next turn I will draw two prizes right now which is pretty awesome and my opponent will take the KO back with Halucha or potentially Lucario we could free up that second Tarantrum here, which we don't. It's definitely going to take it with Halucha though. I think that's pretty obvious. But as long as we power up Aegislash with 3 Metal Energy, I think we'll s we're, we're still in it. We're definitely still in the match. We just need a switch. <laughs> or a Floatstone. And our deck is pretty thin. Now, Hydreigon has a 1 retreat cost, Giratina does 2, I don't want to sacrifice a Shaman, because Halucha with a Fighting Stadium does have the KO on Shaman here. So I'm gonna attach the Muscle Band to Aegislash, I'm gonna bench Giratina, and of course my top deck was a Zikamore. <laughs> Of course it was a Zikamore. Er, 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 er. I do get an energy and I do get the switch to get the KO. Why do you keep doing that if I keep clicking not to show me? I get the fighting though. But I do have the muscle band so I still do it KO Lucario. Why? Now I'm going to bench the other Aegislash and the other Giratina. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Because if my opponent counters the stadium uh, to try to KO a Shaman, I can simply discard both Shamans and be completely fine. I don't like relying on just one Bronze Song, but <laughs> I don't have a choice here. There's the 80 damage pretty awesome or a hundred thanks to the muscle band I do even up the game three against three I can potentially power up another Aegislash very soon I could potentially power up Giratinas as well I'm afraid of the Crowland though discarding the double dragon energies which I've only oh, I've played two so far that's a focus ash which is what I was dreading but okay, he evolves. He's going to discard a metal energy, of course. But uh, look, look at my hand. I always get the sycamore with the versus seeker. <laughs> um. Wow, he hasn't. I can't really complain. My opponent hasn't played a single sycamore yet. There's another Focus Ash on another Halucha. So what I need right now is either my last TCE or how much retreat cost? It has a 2 retreat cost. Yeah, I was gonna count. 1, 2. My opponent has 3 basic fighting energy in play so far. He only does 30 damage, which is okay with me. <laughs> What is that? Why do I always top deck the cards I don't want to top deck? Ugh. <sighs> Such it's ridiculous guys. It's really really ridiculous. It really is ridiculous. Ugh. <laughs> Just gonna see come more. Why do I top deck a further versus seeker? It's just, and I of course do not get the. <laughs> Whatever, guys. I of course do not get a switch. Why would I get a switch? Come on, Pablo. Why would you even get a switch? Now I don't want to discard anything. Do I discard the double dragon energy and give up on attacking with any dragons do I just focus on H slash 
I think that is the play. But of course, my last bronzer is prized. <laughs> my last bronzer is prized. If I had gotten another bronze on out next turn, I would have been in an okay position. But where I am now, I'm gonna have to stall so much that I might even deck out before I am able to win. Oh, yeah, yeah. This game and this game and this deck between the new UI and the way this deck is just uh just not running well for me. <laughs> I'm pretty disappointed in the game this week. I don't know. I honestly I'm enjoying a lot more VGC a lot more. Like a lot more. A lot more. There's no dead draws in VGC, you know? I mean, you can throw away games since the first turn. Uh, leads can determine who wins and who loses, but those are up to you, you know? That depends on your analysis. There is a lot of hacks in the games. Definitely a lot of hacks. But Besides that, this my opponent is still dead drawing, so I have a chance to recover. I really do have a chance to recover. Drawing that TCE would be nice in order to start attacking. Putting on some damage there. Actually, I am going to do that. Can I take a KO one? No. Not really. Not really. No, I'm gonna save it. I mean, I could attach AC right away. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna try to put more offensive pressure. I'm gonna save this Age Slash for now. I'm gonna promote Shaman. I'm going to... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So I always have to have one more than 5 in order to discard the Shaman, so that's not my opponent's win condition. I'm gonna Sky Return to 50 damage. Fortunately, the most I can do next turn is 120. And I'm gonna promote Age Slash once again. I can attach the Float Stone to it. But see, the thing is, once my opponent draws a Lysander, I'll be in huge trouble. I need to have won the game before my opponent top decks a Lysander. Unless he top decks it now. That would be the ideal scenario. He top decks the Lysander right now. Hmm. I don't know, it's a really weird match. And I'm only in this game because my opponent is dead drawing. If he wasn't dead drawing that badly, I wouldn't be in this. I really wouldn't be in this. There's a Versus Seeker for a Birch. My opponent deserves a Heads, to be honest. He really does deserve a Heads flip. On that birch. Now, I could also wait a turn in order to power up Age Slash and have the one hit KO on Lucario, which is what I think is best. There's the heads. At least I'm limiting his strong energies though. And he has al already attached three basic fighting, so at most I reckon he would have three more. Most likely two more. So that's also something that's probably putting us into this game. And that Lysander is pretty huge. I think 
I will wait a turn so that I have the one hit KO on that Age Slash. I mean on that Lucario. And afterwards I have the Lysander to take a KO. Yikes. My opponent will do more damage now though. So I might not be able to afford to wait. Although that's another basic fighting. Ugh. Please no. Oof. That's definitely important for us, that flip. Definitely important. My opponent attaches another basic fighting. That would really suck for us. It really would suck. Gonna metal links. Attach to H slash and pass. Oh, hurry up. Next turn, I'll attach the floatstone, I'll attach the muscle band, and I'll have the KO on Lucario. My opponent knows I have the muscle band, but due to the new UI, he might not even be paying too much attention to that. He attaches a a uh, strong to the bench Lucario X. So yeah, with four basic basic fighting already in play, his odds of having the the last basic energy weren't too high, which is great for us. He flips heads once again. I'd rather him flip heads on that instead of uh, the thingies, the hammers. And I think. We're gonna be able to seal this match right now. We're gonna take the KO on Lucario with Metal Links and the uh, Muscle Band. And as long as our opponent doesn't get rid of our hand, we should be fine. But what I'm going to try to do is discard whatever cards I don't need in order to increase the odds of us uh, getting, that, getting that out, which means having access to Lysander and versus Seeker, which means keeping Shaman, which means discarding the other two cards, the DCE and the Bronze Song. Don't get anything. In our deck there's another Floatstone, which is great, a level ball which could have used we could have used to thin out our deck, our Sycamore, which we will not be using because we don't want to to deck out. And my opponent could potentially play a red card and could also potentially play a judge. We will have uh, nine cards total. Both of our prizes don't help us in getting out Lysander. We'll have nine cards total. Even if he evolves, he's attaching the strong energy. Even if he plays Hex Maniac and evolves, we have the KO. Ah, okay, he plays the Lysander before the stadium. Oh, he's just gonna flying press there. That's fine. That is fine. Except, if I have two AC, that's one less access to Lysander. I discarded the DCE, which sucks. What I can do here is just wait. That is what I can do here. I'm gonna wait. Because I can't retreat and Lysander on the same turn. So I'm just gonna pass. I'm gonna give my opponent the Shaman prize. And then I simply Lysander up one of his Shamans. Or the Corefish or the Crodant. Doesn't really matter which one. It's gonna battle Compressor. What do you get though? What do you discard? Oh, this video is so long. <laughs> well, 34 minutes. It's not that long, I guess. Gets rid of the Fighting Stadium, a Sycamore, and an Ultra Ball. Can't believe my opponent is down to 11 cards without having played a single Sycamore. He takes a KO, so now we win thanks to the Lysander we have in our hand. Because my opponent really made it a close game with that last Lysander. But 
thanks to this Lysander I can simply bring up Shaman and take the KO avoiding the focus ashes on this Haluchas which could have been very problematic and there's the win so I think we went 1-1 in every single video this week I don't think this is a true top contender for the upcoming city championships which I believe start next week already so uh, yeah that will be all for today guys thank you very much for watching I hope even though the games were very slow and very methodical and we didn't do too well I hope I mean that's the point of using the deck a whole week if I had sh uh, just shown the deck, shown the list and talked about the deck for a couple of minutes and then showed you two games where I completely dominate my opponents, you would have thought, oh wow, this deck is pretty amazing. But since we've now gone through 10 games, uh, we went 5-5 five and five in total this week and the fact that um, we really didn't, the wins we got weren't super long games except this last one. I honestly don't think this deck is a true top contender right now. Bronzong is definitely a good card, don't get me wrong, but when combined with Vespiquen and Night March and potentially a pure metal deck, the coal energy situation and uh, Tyrantrum requiring so much in order to get powered up and all of that, I don't think it's worth it. It's also very susceptible to Hex Maniac as we saw throughout the week and Hex Maniac is a very popular card right now. So. That will be all for today guys, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next week and based on the poll we'll be using Sceptile X. Bye bye!